Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to this small little clip where I will be talking to you about the menstrual issues and the problems and how to overcome them for women who are embarking on doing Hajj. As a requirement to fulfill Hajj, it is necessary for women to be free of having menstrual periods. At this time, uh, they are undergoing a lot of stress, both physically and mentally, and the periods can come sooner or later than uh, the date they were due to. It is very necessary to do forward planning to ask your GP, who knows all your medical history and who will be the best person to advise you on what to do to postpone your periods. Emphasize to the GP that you don't want to have a period on certain days. Well, that leads us on to how we can control the periods. The contraceptive pill option is one which many women will be familiar with is a contraceptive pill containing both estrogen and progesterone. This is taken daily for 21 days and then there is a seven day pill free week where the period will happen. This can be used to postpone your period by taking two packets or even three packets back to back without a break ensuring that when you do come off the pill, you will have a withdrawal bleed. To ensure this works well, it is necessary to keep to perfect timing of taking the pill at the same time every day. As changes in the time will lead to irregularity in hormonal levels and cause you to have breakthrough bleeding. People who are already on it or would like to postpone their period can do so, but has to talk to the GP who will have a record of their medical history to ensure there are no contraindications to taking this pill. Moving on to the second option, there will be people which is also under the contraceptive pill the progesterone only pill often gives amenorrhea or no periods at all. It is alright for them, however, under stress of doing hajj, physical and mental might lead to irregularities and breakthrough bleeding. So one must have a plan B or an alternative option should that breakthrough bleeding happen. The same goes for people who are already using Myrena and not seeing periods. For them, they should also go on to have a backup plan which takes us to option 3. Option 3 is a non-contraceptive hormonal pill which is taken regularly, a norethestone, also called NET, which is one of the progestogen hormone found in the contraceptive pills. However, as a non-contraceptive pill for postponement, it requires to be taken in a higher dose of 5 mg three times or even four times a day. Because it's got a short half-life, which means the effect wears off quickly, it is necessary to keep to perfect timing. So I would suggest that the top tip would be to actually take it 
regularly at 6 a.m. in the morning, 2 p.m. and then 10 p.m. It is best to put an alarm on your mobile to give you a prompt that your bill is due. This can be taken by proper planning few days before embarkation to Holy City of Makkah. Say five days before or three to five days before you embark, start taking these pills. These are to be taken as long as it is required to stop your periods because coming off them will make you have a withdrawal bleeding There is another pill that uh, some GPs have been prescribing and can be prescribed, which is the Provera or Medroxyprogesterone, 10 mg twice a day or three times a day. There has only been one study to say that it can be used in this way to postpone your periods. However, the experienced and widely used tablet is the Norethistrone. However, if there has been any breakthrough bleeding or spotting, the GP might suggest doubling up the dose or any other methods. It is best to seek advice sooner rather than later so that the best option can be given to you in your situation.